There we go. Well, I'll fix that at the break then. Alright, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Dylan Warnick. I'm just filling in for the night. Right time, right place. Just got back uh, from a month of I don't know what going around the country. Might share a couple stories here and there. Um, I'm just going to play some tunes. Might take me a little bit to warm the voice up. Carry me home A band of angels Coming after me Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Well, I'm all sometimes up and I'm sometimes down Coming for to carry me home When all of my friends, they just can't be found Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet chariot Coming for to carry me my girlfriend last time I checked she still was my girlfriend well she's sweet like the sound of a bottleneck slide or the rumor of the moon on a cloudy night and when she's around me I can't hide my love oh man oh man she's my woman Watch out when you see us coming We ain't got much 
But we got each other and it's only up from here Maybe I could win the lottery Buy ourselves an island, drink daiquiris Beneath the sway of a sweet palm tree We'll be taking on the world Oh, and when I'm at the bar, she doesn't wait up for me She answers the call if I get too sloppy And she lets me ramble if I feel like talking And she listens the whole way home And when she fights, she's a cougar When she cuddles, she's a kitten She's a five-star chef when she's in the kitchen I can't deny it, you know I'm smitten it's only up from here Maybe I could sell a song or two Tour from Tuscaloosa to Timbuktu Make a living and we'll be on the move We'll be taking on the world She's like an old soul soothsayer Soothing on a ticking bomb And when I go and lose my temper Oh man, she really keep me calm Oh man, oh man, she's my woman Watch out when you see us coming We ain't got much, but we got each other And it's only up from here Yes, yeah, it's only up from here I recently drove from uh, Seattle all the way down to Key West, Florida. And that's a drive. I'll tell you that. My buddy, uh, it's a whole story, but we're here for a while, so you might hear all of it. There's some things. I got kidnapped by a foreign car company. That's a true story. They paid me a lot of money, and then they uh, held me hostage. There was a... Rollover accident, someone was pinned under a car, I had to keep them uh, alive and going, uh, but we'll, we'll get to all that. It starts with, uh, I got a buddy in New Mexico, southern New Mexico, about an hour from El Paso, um, and I play music for a living. I turned down a European tour, I was supposed to be in Europe all last month, Didn't I just I needed a, a, a break, um, so I took a month off, and my buddy calls me up. He's a woodworker. He makes he makes cutting boards and fine art. And uh, there's a fine art festival in Jupiter, Florida. He gives me a phone call. This was when we had all that snow coming down. He says, uh, I know you're not going to be in Europe. I know you got a month off. You're going to be bored two days in. Come to Florida. Help me sell my cutting boards. And I'll buy you a round of golf. I was looking at the snow falling down from the window. And I said, I'm packing my bags. So I drove all the way down to New Mexico and we load into this van of his towing an eight foot trailer. That becomes an important part of the story later. Um, and we set off and we drive 30 hours to St. Augustine. There was four of us. And uh, we get to St. Augustine. We stay in this beach house, which is a whole other story. We don't have to get to that. But uh, and then we set off and we do the festival. We made $17,000 over three days selling my buddy's woodworking products. So we say, well, let's go celebrate in Key West. Well, we go to Key West. We get there. There's four of us, mind you. It's an important number. And we instantly start drinking. And all the hotels are $500. And the ticket for leaving your van on the street overnight is $80. So let's just sleep in the van and pay the $80 ticket. And uh, we're there, and we, you know, we have a few. We want to go swimming, so we go swimming. Um, we didn't know where the beach was, but it was Key West. It's an island. If we walk, we're going to hit the beach. So we started walking, and there was this fence we had to get over. And halfway through climbing this fence, I went, man, this is a hell of a fence. This is a difficult fence to climb. 
But we get over it, and we get to the place, we swim and have a great time. Well, I found out later we'd snuck onto a military base. <laughs> and that's what we were swimming on. But there's just one of those serendipitous nights where you're drinking and nothing can affect you, so nobody was shot or arrested. And, but uh, we swim, and my buddy and I, the weather's kind of changing, so we go back to the van. There's still two of us swimming. And as you can tell, this story, this is day two of a 30-day trip, and this is the tamest story I can tell. I'm starting off. Uh, we go swimming. We go back to the van. We get to the van. We sleep. There's a, there's a bunk bed thing in the van. We sleep underneath. We wake up the next day. Our friends are not anywhere to be found. We were missing two friends. So we uh, were a little alarmed because last we saw, they were laughing and frolicking in the ocean. And now we don't have our two friends. So we better go look for them at the bars. We start with Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. And have you seen two guys, we go to the bartender, have you seen two guys that look like they'd be hanging out with us two guys? And uh, they say no. And we, we have a mystery afoot. I thought they drowned. I was like, oh, my God, I need a drink. So we started drinking, and then it turns out our friends, they had gotten so drunk that they called a taxi, and they booked a flight home from Key West, and they flew home while we were sleeping. And I can tell you, I've been on a lot of nights and I've drank a lot of things and I've been in a lot of head spaces, but I've never done something like that. Because to fly out of Key West, you got to get on a little puddle jumper and you fly into Miami. And I remind you, they're going to southern New Mexico. So from Miami, they now have to fly to Atlanta. And then from Atlanta, you fly to Albuquerque. And then from Albuquerque, you fly to El Paso. And i got to think that no matter how much they drank... By the time they're in the air over Key West, they're not feeling very good and got to be thinking this wasn't the best idea we ever had. But we woke up the next day, our friends were gone. That four became two. Well, now we're in Key West. Might as well make the most of it. And we uh, had a great time. We met this Russian bartender who was just this wonderful, beautiful creature. And uh, that was eight hours into the day of drinking and not the best time to try and learn Russian, looking back, but we tried. Nistrovia and uh, da. But that was uh, night four of this trip. And we woke up the next day with horribly hungover, but just joyous. We saw Hemingway's house, and it was time to go home. And I'm going to play a couple more songs, and I'll tell you about what it was like trying to go home. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and you're miles From your nice warm bed You just remember what your old past said Hey, you got a friend in me You got a friend in me you got a friend in me You got some troubles Yeah, I got them too There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you We'll stick together We can see it through Hey, you got a friend in me Some other folks might be a Little bit smarter than I am Bigger and stronger too Maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's just me and you, boy. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. You got a friend. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. This next song is a song I wrote about missing home, even when home isn't that great a place. Well, I wish that I was back. 
town from where I came The bartenders are surly But at least they knew my name And the women look like my mother But they acted like my dad I who'd have ever thought That I'd miss them so bad Well I wish that I was back Where I know every road But they all lead to nowhere But at least it's nice to know And all my friends are doing The same thing every day Talking shit and wasting All their life away Wish I was talking shit and wasting All my time away Cause out here Don't nobody know me Back there, they're sorry that they do. Oh, well, yeah, it's true, but at least they do. Well, I wish that I was back where all my pets are buried, where all my uncle's names they seem to rhyme with Larry, and where Christmas is a letdown. But New Year's is a hoot And the cops won't pull you over Because they've been drinking too Bartenders are surly, but at least they knew my name And the women looked like my mother But they acted like my dad I who'd have ever thought that I'd miss them so bad Even I never thought that I'd miss them so bad Cause out here Don't nobody know me worth nobody wants to yeah the cops just want to bust and the bartenders don't serve me and the women here I'm ugly and they think that I'm ugly and they treat me like I'm nothing and the roads are confusing they are always winding right along I just want one to wind me home. I'll try to play a song I wrote for my grandfather here. Grandpa, won't you tell me All about the war And all the reasons That you fought it for That today is what brought me here To your door I want to know I want to know I want to know Cause I've been having a hard time lately and I've no right to feel that way When I think of all you went through Quite honest, I'm ashamed So once again, please tell me how It is I have this name I wanna know, I wanna know I wanna know Pretty was grandma on the night you met her. It was 
Is my father heavy in your hands? Or did you hold him lightly knowing Things might be a little bit better For him and his own Than you'd ever have Grandpa, won't you tell me All about this country home of the free and the land of the plenty well, did you find it was just that or did it leave you feeling empty I want to know I want to know I want to know there's a few things happening now that don't sit right there's even a couple wars going on Some folks say ain't our fight and Maybe it's just not like your day, you know Things aren't so black and white But I want to know I want to know I want to know As a young man, did you ever worry? trouble heavy on your brow or did you walk lightly knowing that nothing's ever perfect and a life lived honestly will work itself out well grandpa the reason for these things I ask you know, I'm 20 some odd years old now. I'm newly a man. There's still so many things I don't understand. But I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know. All right, so we're driving out of Key West. We got a we got a van. We're towing an eight foot trailer behind us. Kind of weirded out. Our friends disappeared, but whatever. We had a great time. We learned a little bit of Russian. Um, driving out of there, and it's a long drive. Florida is a big state, boy. You're trying to drive from the bottom of Florida. You're trying to get the hell out of Florida. That is a tough time. Well, uh, we broke down in a place called Micanopy, Florida. It's uh, about 30 miles south of Gainesville, Florida, uh, otherwise known as the least helpful part of the country. Um, we broke down and got towed to this tire joint in this town, Micanopy, that the only thing there was this tire center and uh, a strip club that billed itself as a naked Denny's. So we were uh, stranded there. The guys got to eat, go to the Naked Denny's, and they didn't like us. We didn't like them. Uh, we put 30 minutes of Tom Waits songs on the jukebox, which if you don't know who Tom Waits is, just imagine a guy screaming and hitting a banjo with a hammer. And that's what they had to dance to for 30 minutes while we ate our meal. And uh, so how do we get out of Micanopy? We got this van. We got a trailer. We don't want to scrap either. We decided we were going to rent a U-Haul and an auto carrier. 17-foot U-Haul will fit an 8-foot trailer. So we're going to rent a U-Haul. We're going to load our trailer into our trailer so we can put the van on a trailer. That took 12 hours to do. We had to permanently alter the U-Haul, and the, they didn't catch us. They didn't notice it when we returned it. We drilled some holes in, put some eye bolts in, got a couple come-alongs, and I would lift this. 750-pound trailer by the tongue on the wheels, lift it up straight, and then click, click, click. It moved three inches, and then we repeated that for 12 hours. And we finally got the trailer into the trailer, um, which, you know, we got it up there, and the damn thing didn't fit into the U-Haul. So we had to take the door off and let the air out of the tires, and we got it in. And Now we're out of Micanopy, and this, took, this was a four-day ordeal figuring this out. But, okay, we finally get to leave 
Florida, the hardest video game level of my life. And uh, that's what it felt like. We didn't go to sleep. We just turned the game off. You know, that's really what the closest thing it felt like. Um, well, we're driving out of there finally. We were, we were in our U-Haul with a trailer in the trailer of the U-Haul towing a van. Uh, we can go about 42 miles an hour if the wind's at our back. Well, shit, it can't end like this. What's going on in New Orleans? It was Fat Tuesday, the end of Mardi Gras. So we, uh, we're going to New Orleans now. We're going we're gonna to go to Mardi Gras. But where do you park a U-Haul with a van in New Orleans? Well, I, they just had this tornado roll through. And I found a trailer park that had been ravaged by a tornado, and I called the guy up, and I say, uh, hey, you know, can we park our U-Haul at your trailer park, your RV park? And the guy says, if you show up, we'll make it work, you know, in his kind of Creole. So we showed up there. He charged us $30 to park. We Ubered into New Orleans. We had a great time and uh, barely got out of there alive. Mardi Gras, I'll tell you. I don't know if you've ever been to Mardi Gras, but on Bourbon Street, well, you know, you got this crowd of – Frenchman Street was our hang. Bourbon Street is just too much – it's just this this uh, feral Disneyland, you know. And uh, But how they clear Bourbon Street is they all – all the cops line up on horses, and they just march forward. And if you're there and if you get caught up, you're going to get trampled by a horse. And that's how they get these drunks out of there. I mean, because how do you end a party like Mardi Gras? Well, you line up 30 police officers on horses, and then, you, you know, okay, just keep moving forward because they got high-powered water hoses about 50 yards behind them. So if you make through the horses, you're going to get blasted. So we didn't want any part of that. I asked an officer, hey, I heard about this horse and hose thing. Um, I'm on the team. How do I have that not happen to me on uh, Frenchman Street? So we went there and uh, had this crazy time dodging lusty large women who want you in their beds and back alleys and you know there's trumpets and it's just a wild time and we got back to our u-haul and slept in our van on the trailer and uh woke up the next day now we're really hurting and uh now we got to drive back from uh new orleans to uh new mexico because in the space of time i've uh, this foreign car company called me and they're going to pay me a thousand dollars to play a show in northern Arizona on Lake Powell. I got to play a one hour set entertaining these um, European celebrities while they all drive new Land Rovers. So I got to get back to northern Arizona to do this thing. And uh, so we're leaving New Orleans in this U Haul. And I don't know if you've ever driven through southern Texas, but there's these border checkpoints to check if you're an American citizen as you drive in this country. Well, that's not going to work for us because we have a trailer inside of a trailer. What are these? these border agents going to think when they pull us over and what's in your trailer? Well, another trailer, sir. <laughs> That's not going to work. And this thing is not coming out of there. It was so hard. We're, we're not getting this thing out of there until we're home with equipment to remove it. So we got to take the long route home. So we're driving uh, 45 miles an hour from New Orleans, taking the scenic route through Texas to New Mexico. That was a two day drive. Um, but we finally get back to New Mexico. But the next day, I got to be in northern Arizona from southern New Mexico. And uh, maybe I'll play a few songs and tell you about what that was like. <laughs> If you're going down to Dallas Poor mama A shot And tell her this one Is on her oldest son And give her all her love Tell Marie I'm a clean now Just like a warm summer rain and Tell her I'm back on track Well, I drive around in this big Cadillac And I spend each night 
just calling her name. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you Everything's still going wrong And the days run like the horses oh, I wish I'd have put my money on And I ain't driving no Cadillac I've just been drinking all night long Wondering where the time is gone uh, the last one was a tune I wrote this is another song I wrote about a diner this is called uh, Wednesday Night in Buffalo Well, Max sat down at the counter. Francine took his order. He said, give me a beer and a steak as rare as you. And she said, sugar, if only you could tip. Me as well as your compliment You know, I could pack my bags I could quit this job And move Well, Francine, heaven You caught on by now We tip you lousy just to keep you around And she just laughed it was a lonesome sound And she went to get the food Now the cook was in the kitchen Hung over and complaining About anyone who wasn't said, Francine, this new manager Took our smoke breaks and changed the calendar Now Monday nights I work with that lazy girl, Mary Lou But before Francine could respond In walked the manager, his name was Tom just asked what's going on and she said nothing sir she grabbed the plate of food well and the diner was full of regulars talking to no one in particular their eyes glued to the TV set watching the game Just then in walked a stranger Someone thought he looked familiar And they said, hey Jerry, how you been, man? And Jerry said, that's not my name It was a Wednesday night in Buffalo but it could have been yesterday or tomorrow The menus agreed And everyone knows It's always the same
Can't you walk? next song's a spiritual tune. I'm not religious, just uh, when I play the music. I got wings, I got wings, all of God's children got wings. When I get to heaven, gonna put on my wings, I'm gonna fly all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, everyone's talking about heaven, they're going by. Heaven, I'm gonna fly all over God's heaven. I got a robe, you got a robe. All of God's children got robes. When I get to heaven, gonna put on my robe. I'm gonna shout all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven. Everyone's talking about heaven and gold. I'm gonna heaven, heaven. I'm gonna shout all over God's heaven. I got shoes, you got shoes, all of God's children got shoes. 
when I get to heaven, gonna put on my shoes and gonna walk all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, everyone's talking about heaven and going about heaven. Heaven, gonna walk all over God's heaven. I got a heart, you got a heart, all of God's children got hearts. When I get to heaven, gonna play on my harp, I'm gonna play all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, everyone's talking about heaven and going about heaven. Heaven, gonna play all over God's heaven. I got wings, you got wings, all of God's children got wings. When I get to heaven, gonna put on my wings, I'm gonna fly all over God's heaven. Heaven, heaven, everyone's talking about heaven and gold, I'm gonna fly all over God's heaven. I gotta be honest, I'm getting a little tired of telling the story, but I can't stop now. So uh, I'm on my way from southern New Mexico to northern Arizona to play this gig for a foreign car company that's paying me an obscene amount of money. I'm all dressed up. Had to leave at 6 a.m. It's this whole deal. And I, to save time, <laughs> what could go wrong, I put my clothes on for the show. I'm just going to drive there, get to the hotel, and drop my bags off, go to the gig. Well... About six hours into the drive, I'm deep in uh, Navajo country there, just past uh, Gallup, New Mexico. I was just outside of this town called Ganada, Arizona. And uh, I don't know if anybody's ever been to like a national park, like Yellowstone National Park. Well, then there's an animal to see all the cars pull off to the side of the road and everybody's looking and I'm kind of driving and that's what I'm seeing up ahead going on. And I'm going, what the hell is going on? What animals are out here? Is it like a, a cougar? What do we got? Well, I get there, and there's a pickup truck that's rolled over. Apparently, someone had flipped their truck just a minute or two prior. This is an accident that had just happened. And there's a bunch of people standing around, but nobody's really doing anything. So I grab my knife and jump out of the car. And uh, ends up a 16-year-old boy, Navajo boy, had flipped his pickup truck and his arm was pinned under the truck and his legs sticking out of the driver's door and the truck's leaking gas everywhere and no one's doing anything. And so this now becomes my deal. And, uh, and so my clothes are ruined and I'm covered in gasoline and blood and mud. And I finally make it to my hotel. They booked me and I walk into the hotel now, nobody knows this had just all happened. I'm now I'm covered in mud and blood and gasoline, and this is 